The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. Hello everyone, this is Anthony again, here to give you an update on our Pacific Pond Turtle project, which, believe me, has been one heck of a project, unfortunately. Thank you for sharing in this sad yet uplifting story. Since the time their ailments were discovered, just days after acquiring these turtles, it has been our mission to aid in their recovery. If you recall the story of Hope, um, she was the female Pacific Pond Turtle who um, we had acquired in February, and within 10 days or so of acquiring her and um, Benedict, the male, we realized that um, there were some shell rot issues. Now, they were totally hidden under the scutes. Um, she had a hole through her plastron, which went all the way into the body cavity. Um, you may remember that. Well, that has began to heal. Um, however, um, we also found that the shell rot had extended across the front part of her carapace and had rotted out all of the shell underneath the scutes which were hidden. You couldn't find it until you started to really clean and debride some of that. She's really big and seems really healthy still, really active. She's put on quite a bit of weight recently and this which was spongy and uh, really quite frankly was pretty disgusting on that first. It was probably one of the most sad things I ever had to deal with but um, now it's become calcified. Um, we've been cleaning her with chlorhexidine solution, um, especially then we were cleaning her multiple times a day, dry docking her overnight, just doing anything we could. Um, I brought her to the vet probably six or seven times and um, she really she really seems to be doing well right now and I'm really proud of that progress and really excited that she's gotten a second chance here. Um, she really is a beautiful girl and it's unfortunate but it shows that you know these animals were built to survive. Uh, one of the reasons we love them so much and although they can be you know pretty frail at times and sometimes can die off for no reason which leaves you wondering um, we've all gone through that. Sometimes they also defy the odds in the other way. Benedict was the male. And if you recall from the video, he came in with a bunch of old dings. Well, unfortunately, they weren't all old dings. Um, as you see, that rot also had expanded on him. I had to spend a lot of time. This is a leaf. I had to spend a lot of time uh, debriding and cleaning his injuries as well. And um, he too is doing well. He's put on some weight. You could see he's bright eyed. His face and his limbs all look healthy. Um, it's a shame what he had to go through with the shell, but again, after many trips to the vet and treatment, the chlorhexidine and um, silvadine cream, saline rinses and washes and things like that, he's made a recovery and seems to be doing very, very well. And this is our third Pacific Pond Turtle. Our young juvenile female, you can see she is feisty and beautiful. No shell abnormalities on her. Um, this rough appearance is the norm for them. Um, she also has put on some good weight lately, and we're very excited about that. You can see a beautiful and rare species that deserves um, the attention both uh, through local law that protects them in their habitat, and for the few of us that are lucky enough to work with them, uh, we really have to take it seriously. Like their cousins, the European pond turtles, there is um, a lot of uh, geographic um, geographical variance uh, among populations. So it's important that if you do want to breed these animals, that you try to um, keep in mind where they come from. All of our animals are from Fresno locale, all three, and originally started at the same breeder once upon a time. So, hope you like it. Hope you love these turtles and I hope you're as glad as I am to see that the other two are doing well.